Hello, welcome to Opera's headquarters in beautiful Oslo, Norway. My name is Katrin and I'm here to introduce Opera Mini 4.1. To date, Opera Mini has been downloaded by more than 40 million people worldwide. Opera Mini 4.1 builds on its success by adding some great new features suggested by a very own fan base. Firstly, Opera Mini is fast, but our fans wanted it even faster. So we have upgraded our servers and can now offer a 50% faster user experience. We have also added some new productivity features, such as URL autocomplete, finding page, and the ability to save pages for later offline viewing. It is also possible to upload and download files right within Opera Mini. For example, that gives you a possibility to photo blog within seconds. Let me now introduce you to Jan, who will take you through all the latest features of Opera Mini 4.1. Hi, my name is Jan Stanlo and I'm a product director at Opera Software. Today I'm going to show you some of the new features in Opera Mini 4.1. Opera Mini was already fast, but we made it even faster. The secret to Opera Mini speed lies here in these servers. Unlike browsing a new computer, we first download the web pages to these servers, then compress them at up to 90% before sending it to a handset. That means less data, less processing, and a more desktop-like speed on your mobile phone. With Opera Mini 4.1, we added some great new features based on user feedback. The first is Google's mobile search, which you find on Opera Mini start page. By clicking on the search field, you'll get the option to choose other search engines, or like in Opera for your computer, create your own custom search from any web page. One handy feature in Opera Mini 4.1 is URL autocompletion. When entering a web address, Opera Mini will make suggestions based on my browsing history and bookmarks. For example, I read the New York Times quite often, so if I want to visit today, I only need to type N, and Opera Mini will suggest the right address. You can also type in web addresses without going to the start page. Simply hit menu and then enter address and the URL field will appear on top of the page. We have also included easier access to Google's mobile search so that you can just type DVD and then choose search for DVD and it will bring you to the search results on Google's mobile search. One feature many people have requested is to be able to search and find specific words on web pages. To do this, I go to Menu, and then I go to Tools, and then I choose Find in Page. Since I'm on New York Times, let's look for new articles about Barack Obama. So I type in Obama. And hit OK. And Opera Mini will find the first mention. By hitting next, it will scroll to the next mention. Hey, this looks interesting. Now here is another practical feature. Opera Mini 4.1 allows you to save web pages for later offline viewing. Let's say you want to visit Opera software and need a map. You can save the visitor's information page from opera.com and then open it directly from Opera Mini start page without connecting to the internet. And here it is. So one of the new features in Opera Mini 4.1 is the ability to upload and download files. To illustrate this, I'll take a picture from my blog. Catherine, can you come in here and help me? Yeah. Smile. Now, let's upload it. So let's upload the photo to Flickr. So I go and I click on, on file and I will see a thumbnail of all my photos I've taken. So I choose to the recent one and I click upload. 
So we're done uploading. So let's check it out. And here's the picture. So let's zoom in on it. Here she is. I hope you have enjoyed the guided tour of Opera Mini 4.1. To download Opera Mini today, please visit operamini.com. Thank you for your time.